We're sitting on the terrace of a cafe called the Penny Pot, which is just by Edale Railway Station. Here you can see Mam Tor in the distance, Mam Tor, the shivering mountain by the side of Castleton. And I think that's probably the first place that I visited in the Peak District. There are lots of caverns in Castleton, Blue John Cavern, Speedwell Cavern, Tree Cliff Cavern, and it was a favorite kind of school trip to come out to those places. And they would also show you Mam Tor and tell you that the reason that it shivers, it's called the Shivering Mountain, is because it's made out of shale. See, I can still remember it all these years later. Walkers every weekend will start their walk from the end. People, mainly, I guess, coming from Manchester or Sheffield. And, and maybe what some of them don't realise is that they're following in the footsteps of their ancestors. Back in 1932, there was a thing that happened around here called the Mass Trespass, and that was industrial workers from Manchester and Sheffield came out here because access to the countryside in those days was very restricted. And through their actions, we have the national parks and the right to roam, and everybody is allowed to have access to this beautiful countryside. So once you've finished your cup of tea, we can start walking. We'll see what we find. There are some things that we've placed along the route for your entertainment. One right here, actually, in the cafe. For the duration of this walk, we have a jukebox in there, a jukebox loaded only with protest songs. So come inside. I've uh, selected a song that I think will get us in the mood for the walk. I've been over Snowden, I've slept up on Croden, I've camped by the Waynestones as well. I've sunbathed on Kinder, been burned to a cinder, and many more things I can tell. My rucksack has off been my pillow, the heather has off been my bed, and sooner than far from the mountains, I think I would rather be dead. I'm a rambler, I'm a rambler from Manchester way, I get all my pleasure the hard and way, I may be a wage slave on Monday. But I am a free man on Sunday. The day was just ending and I was descending down Brinesbrook just by Upper Tor. When a voice cried, Hey, you, in the way keepers do, he'd the worst face that ever I saw. The things that he said were unpleasant. In the teeth of his fury, I said, Sooner than far from the mountains, I think I would rather be dead. I'm a rambler, I'm a rambler from Manchester way. I get all my pleasure the hard morning way. I may be a wage slave on Monday, but I am a free man on Sunday. He called me a louse and said, think of the grouse. Well, I thought, but I still couldn't see Why old Kinder Scout and the moors round about Couldn't take both the poor grouse and me He said, all this land is my master's At that I stood shaking my head No man has the right to own mountains Any more than the deep ocean bend I'm a rambler, I'm a rambler from Manchester way. I get all my pleasure the hard fallen way. I may be a way slave on Monday, but I am a free man on Sunday. I once loved a maid, a spot welder by trade. She was fair as the rowan in bloom. And the blue of her eye matched the June moorland sky And I wooed her from April till June On the day that we should have been married I went for a ramble instead 
far sooner than far from the mountains. I think I would rather be dead. I'm a rambler, I'm a rambler from Manchester way. I get all my pleasure the hard and way. I may be a wage slave on Monday, but I am a free man on Sunday. So I'll walk where I will over mountain and hill and I'll lie where the bracken is deep. I belong to the mountains, the clear running fountains where the grey rocks rise rugged and steep. I've seen the white hair in the gullies and the curl you fly high overhead. And sooner than far from the mountains, I think I would rather be dead. I'm a rambler, I'm a rambler from Manchester way. I get all my pleasure the hard mullen way. I may be a wage slave on Monday, but I am a free man on Sunday. outside the Barber Booth Methodist Chapel, Wesleyan Methodist Chapel. This building dates from 1811. No stained glass windows. As someone said to me, the stained glass windows really are the landscape that you can see. We're in the Edale Valley here. That's a nice thing about the walk, I think, is that you, for most of it, you've got hills on either side, so you feel quite kind of protected by that. In the chapel, for the duration of the trail, there's some work by a group called Instar, Trish and Nick, who have worked with local children and young adults on works, which initially they made like patches, you know, like when rambles have uh, patches sewn on the rucksack, or, or even when you get those like pennants on a 
walking stick. They made some of those, but they've also turned them into light boxes that are in there. During the course of the trail, we will have some kind of impromptu musical performances in there. There are two harmoniums in there, one which doesn't work because the mice ate the bellows, and one that which does work. So maybe it would be nice to hear some harmonium music at this time. Well, well done for sticking with the walk this far because you're about two thirds of the way along it now. And we're just outside a small hamlet called Upper Booth. As you can hear in the background, there's a stream. We've just passed another one of the artworks which is uh, based in a, in a telephone box here. When the mass trespassers got assembled, getting ready for the trespass, Benny Rothman made a short speech to them, a kind of, uh, you know, uh, to get them everybody in the mood and galvanised. I guess because he was one of the most vocal members of the trespass, he was one of the ones who got arrested. And he also made a, 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 an interesting speech that got widely reported at the time in the papers, and uh, I'd like to read this short extract from that. We ramblers, after a hard week's work, go out rambling for relaxation and fresh air and we find the finest rambling country is closed to us. Our request or demand for access to all peaks and uncultivated moorland is nothing unreasonable.
Well done. We've made it to the end of the walk. We're here at uh, Lee Barn. So, look, there's a pink door. You can't miss it. Like, the pink has been the color that you've been following for this whole trail. Behind the pink door, as Shaking Stevens did not sing, you'll find that we've transformed that barn into a kind of makeshift cinema. We call it the Cine Barn, actually. And in there is a kind of like a 40-minute program of films that I've put together. But you might want a bit of a sit down. So you can sit down in the dark and watch the telly for a bit. This is my favourite way of relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a summing up of, of some of the ideas behind the trail, I guess. And, and a lot of it is stuff that I saw on the TV, which left an impression on me and maybe formed my view of the countryside and uh, an attempt to make this link between how people reconnect with nature and whether that's difficult or easy or how you go about it. Your choice then is either to turn around and go home or if you've got time and you've been inspired and you've got the correct footwear, very important, you can open the gate just beyond the barn and carry on. And if you carry on in 15 minutes' time, you get to Jacob's Ladder, which is the ascent up onto the Kinder Plateau. And then you've got, you know, you've really got the thing that people came out for then. This, really, this trailer's just been preparing you for that. The choice is yours. <laughs>